The Azawik is a breed of dog from West Africa. It is also used as a sighthound, they have been relegated to a secondary function of camp guardian due to the lack of game in the region. With ancient origins, it is raised throughout the Sahelian zone of Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso. This region includes the Azawa Valley for which the breed is named. While commonly associated with the nomadic Tuareg people, they are also bred and owned by other ethnic groups such as the Pule, Bela, and Hausa. The Azawaka is more related to the Slowi than it is to the Saluki. The Azawak is an African African greyhound of the Afro-Asian type that appeared in Europe around 1970 from the countries of the middle reaches of the Niger River, as well as the Azawak Valley. For centuries the Azawak was a companion of the nomads of the Southern Sahara. For the people of the Sahel and Southern Sahara, the Azawak performs three separate but inseparably interrelated functions, a guard, a hunter, and a status sign. The anatomy of the Azawak stems from the aesthetic criteria of the Sahelian cultures and the harsh conditions in which the Azawak was isolated for millennia. Presumably, the age of the breed can be up to 15,000 years. Morphologically, the Azawak is perfectly adapted to the intense heat of the desert. The muscles of the Azawak are dry, flat, the muscles are obliquely attached to the bones to create the most cooling surface. The Azawak skin is thin, a large number of skin vessels give it the function of a heat exchanger that cools the blood. The Azawak's coat is short, the body is free of excess adipose tissue. The general morphology, economy of movement and the ability to efficiently radiate accumulated heat provide the Azawik with speed and excellent endurance. Azawik is able to chase a hare over and over again in extreme heat. The breed was officially registered by the International Sinological Federation in 1980 and by the American Kennel Club in 1993. Currently not recognized by other federations. Origin story. The culture of ancient Africa was not written and did not leave enough data on the origin of the Azawaks. Archaeological finds that would indicate the time of the appearance of the breed have not been found either. Indirect information and assumptions allow us to judge the breeding of dogs by the nomadic tribes of southern Sahara. The home of the first African greyhound dogs is the rugged terrain of the Sahel. Researchers agree that the breed was bred about 14,000 years ago from tamed wolves. The ancestors of Azawak were geographically located in the territory from the Middle East to India and China. Found petroglyphs with images of hunting dogs visually reminiscent of the modern breed are dated to the by 8 centuries BC. The low prevalence of the African species is explained by the fact that the territory of origin of dogs is limited by resources. The bitch owners kept only one puppy per litter, as they could not afford to keep more puppies. In addition to folk selection of the harsh regions of Africa, natural selection is also actively working. The main factors of natural selection explaining the small population of African greyhounds are lack of food, harsh climatic conditions, bites of poisonous insects, snakes, aggression from wild animals. Nevertheless, Azavaks continue to be bred to hunt fast-running animals. The dog develops a speed of more than 60 km hour, while it is not stopped by any temperature conditions. In terms of protection, the dogs performed rather a signal function, their fragile constitution does not allow attacking more powerful wild animals. Until the 1970s, the Azawak was an exclusively aboriginal breed. This changed after France liberated its former colonies in the animal habitat. The French diplomat Piquer received three purebred puppies as a gift, these were the first representatives of animals in Europe. Already in 1981, the Federation Sinological International, FCI, recognized the Azawak as a separate breed. In 1993, the United Kennel Club of the United States recognized the new species. After international recognition, the African greyhound moved away from the threat of extinction, it began to be bred in nurseries of the civilized world. Appearance. Thanks to its skeletal system, which is characterized by straight architectural lines and very open articulation angles, the Azawik gives an overall impression of dryness but harmony. The Azawik appears tall due to its long limbs and relatively short back, however, it is a medium-sized greyhound. The head is moderately long and rather narrow, the skull is moderately wide. The ears are pendant and flat, rather broad at the base and very mobile. The eyes are set wide to optimize binocular vision. The eyes are obliquely set, the outer corners are higher than the inner ones, large, almond-shaped, the eyelids are pigmented, the color of the eyes varies from dark brown to amber. The teeth are strong and large, with a scissor bite. The nose is pigmented. The neck is straight, flexible with a high exit. The moderate neck length enhances the overall impression of a long-legged dog with a short back. The top line descends from the upper front edge of the ilium to the withers, giving the impression of being higher than the withers. In fact, the withers and shoulders are at the same level. The loin is short, dry and straight. The tail is slender, tapering towards the tip, set low, reaching the length of the hock, covered with the same hair as the body. The tail may have a loop at the end, a sickle tail is preferred. 
The bones of the forelimbs are elongated and upright, firm and chiseled, with no hint of weakness. The withers are pronounced, the ribs are long and flat. The noticeable distance from the edge of the elbow to the base of the chest is due to the very open angle between the shoulder blade and the humerus and the high position of the base of the chest. The sternum is short and curved, the abdomen is sharply tucked up, which creates a clear keeled bottom line. The combination of these features enhances the overall impression of elegance and stateliness. The McClocks are prominent, the croup is steeply sloping, the large angle of the croup reflects the large angle of the shoulder blade. The hind knee angle is open, the knee joints are high, the hocks are close to the ground. The vertical straightening of the hip joint and the Azawik paws in the stance, which gives the impression of saber, is the original characteristic of animals well adapted to economy of movement in desert conditions. Feet tend to be round, strong, of medium size, with clear and high knuckles. The movements are elastic, graceful and effective, the movements of the Azawik are characterized by the peculiarities of the movements of wild animals, as a consequence of the primitive origin of the breed. The freedom in the shoulders and hip joints allows for free forward movement. When trotting, the legs barely rise above the surface without any unnecessary lifting of the limbs. The hind feet are positioned exactly under the center of the back, thus providing a quick, harmonious and balanced gait. The vertical format encourages a straight canter at two paces. The coat is short and thin, may be absent on the belly. Any combination of colors and white markings is acceptable, including the absence of the latter. Height at withers in males 64 to 74 cm, bitches 60 to 70 cm, deviations within 2 cm in both directions are allowed. The weight of males is 20 to 25 kg, bitches 15 to 20 kg. Breed standard. The appearance is graceful and fragile, reminiscent of other greyhounds, in particular the Salic. According to the latest FCI-approved standard, Azawak has straight skeletal lines. At first glance, the dog looks dry, but at the same time, harmony in the physique is noticeable. Obviously, this is not a selection defect. The appearance of the Tourig Greyhound is deceiving, the dog only visually looks tall. In fact, the breed is of medium height, as a rule, the height at the withers varies from 55 to 70 centimeters, while the body weight is only 15 to 25 kilograms. Aswick's nostrils are well open, the lobe is black or brown. Many people determine the pedigreeness of a dog by its paws, they are round in the Tourig breed, the fingers are thin and tightly compressed. The pads of the fore and hind limbs are pigmented. The coat is short, almost absent on the belly. The skin is thin, fits the body tightly. The movement, as the main characteristic of the breed, should be soft, springy during the gallop, giving the impression of flexibility and lightness. Temperament. Bred by the Tuareg, Fula, and various other nomads of the Sahara and Sub-Saharan Sahel in the countries of Mali, Niger, Burkina Faso, and southern Algeria, the breed known by the Tuaregs as Asuka was used there as a guard dog, and to hunt gazelle and hare at speeds up to 40 miles per hour. The austerity of the Sahel environment has ensured that only the most fit dogs survive, and has accentuated the breed's ruggedness and independence. Unlike some other sighthounds, the Azawik is more of a pack hunter, and they bump down the quarry with hindquarters when it has been tired out. In role of a guard dog, if an Azawik senses danger it will bark to alert the other members of the pack, and they will gather together as a pack under the lead of the alpha dog, then chase off or attack the predator. The Slowey, by comparison, is more of an independent lone hunter, and has a high hunting instinct. Azawiks have a range of temperaments from lapdog to quite fierce. Lifelong socialization and gentle handling are critical. Well socialized and trained, they can be good with other dogs, cats, children, and strangers. Unlike other sighthounds, the primary function of the Azawik in its native land is that of protector. It develops an intense bond with its owner, yet can perform independently from its master. With those they accept, Azawik are gentle and extremely affectionate. With strangers many are reserved and prefer not to be touched, but are not inherently aggressive. Although raised to guard against predators, they do not have innate aggression toward canines or humans, unless they are threatened. Azawik have high energy and tremendous endurance. They are excellent training companions for runners and are nearly impervious to heat. They will happily run in weather over 100 degrees Fahrenheit that would kill a greyhound. Many Azawik dislike rain and cold weather. Azawik are pack-oriented and form complex social hierarchies. They have tremendous memories and are able to recognize each other after long periods of separation. They can often be found sleeping on top of each other for warmth and companionship. Alberto Rossi, to raise an Azawik is like building a very fragile construction, which takes a lot of sensibility and can be destroyed from one minute to the next. But every minute it lasts, it fills you with great happiness. Every time I am sitting in a chair or sofa at least one of my dogs tries to take a seat on my lap. The same happens to those of my guests which they love. In these moments they seem to be the image of calmness, gentleness, and trust. But one should not be deceived about this. 
In the deepest place of their soul resides something wild and native, and they will remind us about it with the first occasion and we should not forget, even for a moment, not to treat them like a normal dog. Education and training. To train the Tuagara Greyhound you need to start from infancy, adult dogs are very difficult to train. At the beginning of the path of socialization, applied different types of techniques, the breed is distinguished by intolerance to similar tasks and simply ceases to respond to them. They require patience and attention, the use of brute force does not work and will play a bad joke with the owner. Dogs will happily bring a thrown ball or a stick, they love outdoor games with elements of training. Trying to cultivate friendship with other dogs in a dog is useless, they are leaders by nature. The best place for playing and training Azawak is a field, in the city a football field is suitable. This African breed is relatively difficult to train. These dogs are definitely not for beginners in dog breeding. Education should be done daily, diligently and with appropriate methods. Care and maintenance. Tuareg needs minimal maintenance. Despite the fact that dogs hate water procedures and in every possible way avoid them, the short and thin coat allows you to groom it with a brush. Malting is imperceptible. Ears, teeth and claws require additional attention, but these procedures will not take much time from the owner. It is important to take into account that dogs of this breed have an extremely high pain threshold, so animals may not notice a number of injuries, including those that may not be safe, especially for puppies and young dogs. Aswicks do not tolerate cold and high humidity very well, therefore, when kept in the northern regions, walks in the autumn-winter period should be carried out exclusively in special dog clothes. On the contrary, in hot summer weather, the Aswick will feel quite comfortable, unlike most breeds. In the living area, it is necessary to organize a dedicated sleeping place for the dog, where there will be a warm bedding. It is better to organize the sleeping place near the battery or the warmest wall in the house. Food. Although Azawak is not picky in nutrition, all breeders recommend adhering to a balanced diet. The dog should not only eat dry food. The diet of an adult dog should contain dairy products, meat, and some vegetables. Thinness is a feature of the breed, you should not try to fatten it up. There should always be a separate bowl of water. Walking. Be sure to unleash the dog several times a week in large open areas. When walking in the city, it is preferable to use harnesses. Classic collars increase the risk of compression of the cervical vertebrae. In the case of keeping in an apartment, active walks should be done daily. Cost. Azawick is considered an elite and exotic breed of dog, so it won't be possible to buy it inexpensively. Ideal puppies from exemplary parents from breeders will cost from 400 to 600 US dollars. The price policy of nurseries is 300 US dollars. In the first and second cases, you need to study the pedigree of a particular puppy. The low price should alert the buyer. 